Oh, this is too bad. Good. Feel it. Todd, I didn't do any lead work yesterday on that video with Ayla, and I thought, well, what I'll do today is just uh, take a few minutes and just show you a little bit about her lead skills, because they're impeccable, too. Just in case it's somebody that wants to uh, use Ayla on the lead, maybe you've got to go into an urban environment or something, and you might have to have a lead on. So I'll just hang it over my hand, show you a little bit about how she works, stuff like that. She can work left or right, I'll do both. Works exceptionally well on either either side. Um, works really good. I'm just gonna turn this camera a little bit. Just let me turn this. Guys. Okay, so. Yeah. So Ayla would never tighten the lead. You'd have to be in some really bizarre situation where she'd tighten this up, but only for a second if something happened. But she never, never worries about that. You know. She's just as good once she knows the harness is on. She's pretty much as good with or without the lead. From Ayla. These are two of the best off-leash hiking dogs in the world. They probably are the two best. Um, they're phenomenal off-leash in the remote terrain. Extremely good. Come up a little closer, Ayla. Come, come here. Yeah, come here. Jump up, Ayla. Ayla. 
Come on. Come up here. So I wanted to do that little bit of leash work with her. She's an exceptional dog with or without the harness on. But if you have the harness on, you see then she thinks she's working. So if you got the harness on, in her mind, it's time to work. And so if you come out, you put your harness on, she's starting to focus like she's at work. Now you wouldn't play with the harness on. You would just work. And so, um, the harness is what signals her that it's work time, and she's extremely good at that. Now, she's not going to go far from me even with it off, but she knows then that she can go and do a few things, so it's pretty good. But if a lady or somebody in an urban environment or uh, situations where you have to use a lead, it's, uh, it's a dream dog. It's all that's all that's set in place. Now she's not geared for the house much. She basically never comes in. But if she does come in, she just goes to her mat, and the mat is right at the door. She stays on the mat. That's that. But uh, you can you can adjust how you want her in the house. Come on, come on. I have. Uh, I have females in heat, so when Mon gets down by them, the other males then make them up. Mon, climb me. Good. What have you been doing? What have you been doing? Good. Jump up, Ayla. Come on. Come on, Ayla. Come on. Come on. Good. 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 What a beautiful girl. What a beautiful girl. What a beautiful girl. Now, Ayla, I've got her set up so that for the most part she stays down. But if you're hiking with your pack, you've got your snowshoes on, and you don't want to bend over to see a bunch of dogs, I have her so she'll just come up and say hello. It's a, I train most of, most of my dogs to come up and say hello. Ark. Hey, that's enough. That way I don't have to bend down with my pack, with my snowshoes on, get dumped in the snowbank, that sort of thing. Lots of times I'm hiking with four or five, so they all will come and say hello. And uh, if you're kneeling down, you could uh, end up in a situation where you get tipped over all the time. So I like to train them to come up. But for the most part, she's down. Kalu or Vienna. You quit down. Right. All right, Ayla. You can go. You can go. You can go. You can go. That's pretty good game. So, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that. Just on that. You guys go ahead. You guys go ahead. You go. Go ahead. I just wanted to do that little short video on that lead because I didn't get that yesterday.